There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not wish to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born, and I could claim the loss of my mother and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you are reading, receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we will all perish. Penumbra Overture Episode 1 <laughs> Salutations, dear viewers. Sorry for the more dramatic intro than usual. I decided I wanted to play a new game. And today we're going to be playing Penumbra Overture. I might continue doing this as a series if you enjoy it. So let's start again. Uh, easy, normal, or hard? So it's normal. My story began in February, year 2000. Okay. <laughs> For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. <laughs> His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so <coughs> I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. You mean all of Greenland? <laughs> it took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered it a <coughs> what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. That was some uh, good narration, if I've ever heard it. Alright. There's some Jack Daniels. Finally. We're almost docked. Better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up by using left mouse. And I can take a close look at, use, at things using right mouse. Is that what people say? I'm going to use my left mouse and my right mouse. Anyway. <clears throat> Whiskey. Empty. Shame. Jack Daniels. Blah! Okay. Ooh. This is uh, by the same people who created Amnesia, by the way. I think this game came out first. Chair. Get out of here. Uh, more Jack Daniels. I know what I'm going to be doing the whole game. I gotta turn out the mouse sensitivity. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get you rest. What does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? Oh, it's his wife. I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely. And soon, please... I'm going to stop doing that. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know? I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing you've had a wash. They've had a wash. Before I forget the 
Henriksons in the village have asked me to toss. See, or blah, 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 blah. Mostly out of season. If you do happen upon them, you don't say anything. Store them well, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my goodness. Fisherman's wife. Okay, so. Is that like. His family and everything? Look, a pillow. Okay, so. Chair. Oh. Flashlight. Flashlight switches on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully with the short. <laughs> shortcut key. It's like they're not even sure what they're doing. Okay. Okay, cool. Tab. Tab, 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 tab. Oh, there we go. Move out of my way, like. Blah. Oh, it was good to have a notebook. Okay. And. Notes. To do list. Okay. Impede reminders. Now, where's the emergency glow stick? Should it still be in the locker. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I've got to open this up. Always travel with a padlock and a key, preferably mines in the inventory. Ah, uh, there we go. Batteries. Good thing I have my torch. Oh god, he's saying torch instead of flashlight. Okay. Just gonna go now? Okay. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I had realized how utterly devoted I've been to discovering my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or I was spirit first, but I lost feeling in my ex extremity. Soon after, a new hypothermia was settling in. I started looking for shelter. That should be everything I need. I want to go home before dark. So cold. Don't know where I am. I need shelter soon. Okay. Oh, okay. We gotta go. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I could still hear the wind roaring past. Where is it? The same guy. Black. Why you move so fast? Oof. Ah. Ooh, ooh, a hatch. What in hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Look, frozen shut. I need something to break it. Uh, can I hit it with the flashlight? No, uh, shift to run, apparently. Okay, so I'm gonna get a rock. If I click and hold the interact button, I should li just about manage to pick up the rock. The cold's made me weak. <clears throat> I could still throw things. Okay. Uh, use interact mode. Ah, uh, go. Why isn't why aren't you opening? Ah, uh, notes. Nothing. Ah, uh, why won't this open? Okay, so I completely probably missed something. Ah, balls. Why won't this open? Ah. Alright, okay, so already trapped out here. Okay, why won't you open? Uh, oh. Wow. Wow, I'm an idiot. <sighs> okay. Uh, don't like the sound of that. Oh no, 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 no. We're not doing these voices things. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Something scary, isn't it? Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Jeez. Although, looking around me, maybe I didn't. 
I don't like the look of that. Ammu boxes of ammunition. <clears throat> Wooden door, I hope it opens. Stuck. Okay, so obviously I have to use. Ah, oh. Oh, flare. Okay, let's turn off my flashlight for now. Ooh, another flare. Okay, G to use that. Look at that wiggle. Mmm. Oh god. <sighs> Canned food. Potatoes and beans. <laughs> Ooh, what's, what's going on? <clears throat> hammer? I might need that. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the right mouse the mouse right and then follow through and pushing left. Pulling back and then thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. I reckon hold my swing at the back swing, I should be able to look around. Okay, so Oh I can I know what I can do. Uh there we go. Okay. Okay, now I know how to do that. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm already, like, freaking out already. Okay, I gotta learn to click before I do that. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. <clears throat> That's not quite right. Okay, fine then. <clears throat> Man, my voice is just so dry. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so nope. I'll take that as a no. <clears throat> I'm trying to pry open the door. I need to start thinking straight. Ah, I'm just gonna mute my mic before I cough. Ugh. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I got everything in here. Where? Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Approach. Look at me some freaky stuff in here, I swear to god. <clears throat> There's a maze here. Oh my. Okay. Nope, we're gonna stand up. What is that? Looks like some kind of industrial me mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center, I have no way to operate it. Oh, okay. So... There we go. Okay, so... Okay. That's open enough. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches. <clears throat> Located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety, in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. All there for if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. <clears throat> ah. Once again, I felt like I did. I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. Oh man. Jot it down a note, just in case. 
Just see the cave is caved in. There must be another way in. Oh. If anyone or anything hears me, I best be staying off low and Okay, okay, okay. The best bet is to hide for a couple of seconds or so, perfectly still. That'll make me properly hidden. Like that, I'll be virtually invisible, and soon after, I should get my night vision back. What is he, an owl? Provided I stay still. Um. I'm gonna freak out. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this game? Okay, so I'm right there. Explosives. Let's go to the office. Maybe somebody will be there to help me. Uh. Uh. What the hell am I doing? I'm totally freaking out. Workshop. Okay, well, I went the wrong way. Oh, God. Just let me into a safe room. Okay. I found a locked door in the middle of the mine. Let's go to the storage. Office. Okay, let's go to the office then. Oh, it's right this way. Okay, okay, okay. Open, open, open. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm already freaking out. My heartbeat's like ridiculously high right now. I'm not made for scary games. Anything there? Nothing? What's that? Baxton. Baxter. 15th of August. 1945, Command Bunker, Emergency Air Troop. Another remarkable week in Greenland. Regular received standard emergency drills carried out, blah, 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 blah. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught by the manufacturing. Okay, so he's talking about the Germans invading. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and I injured men, blah, 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 on the basis. Also disconnected. Sometimes I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. So they have seven bayonets, dynamite, dash new ice pick, removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch, one pair of reading glasses category, an older, an order for myself. Uh, okay. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at this artifact. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like the front cover, and so you can't just look at Okay. I'm good at my batteries. Oh, they're dying. Let's just start using my glow stick. Okay. It's a fairly basic work desk to play. <laughs> Ooh. And man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange yet. He is no stranger. Never seen him before. Still, I know this man before me is Howard. I call him father. <clears throat> ah, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Ah, oh, another note. God. Copenhagen. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th August, 1930. Psychotropic deposit at the bottom of Death Mine? Oh. Which is the University of Copenhagen. It suggests that mind altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide. Yeah, okay. This university, which has recently been conducted studies, blah, 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 blah. Last hundred years were abnormally high. Forty sec forty six death per a hundred thousand populace commanded to the highest to the national average of twenty nine. Uh pH four formula, okay. Turn gun. A few locals were conductive to interview, but these who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Infant spirits known as the Turngate God live in the mountains. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I got a key to to what storage maybe? Oh my 
god. Made in Germany. <laughs> How old is the bloody mine? <clears throat> Ooh. Beef jerky. I wouldn't eat that. It's probably like a hundred years old. Flare. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh. Needs a key. Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Uh, black match fuse is one of the oldest, so I need string, black powder, and Baxter. I have Baxter. Well, and these are all the other types of mixtures that I probably will use later on in the future. Ooh, painkillers preferably? What am I, Max Pain? Ah. More beef jerky. <sighs> I don't want to go back over there. <sighs> Screw it, I'll use my batteries. <laughs> what the hell is that? Jesus, never been in the scary in my life. I can feel my heart racing. <sighs> anything, if anything gets within more than a few feet of my eyes, but I better not stare at it. Anything with my field of vision might panic me. And then I'm... <sighs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. We're going on. Is there like. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Fucking dogs. <laughs> I can't even see. The brightness is so low here. I can hear it like growling. Okay. Let's go to storage. Let's just make sure I know how to hit things. Okay. I can't even see. Storage. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Wow, how am I such a pussy? Can't even see anything over there. Fuck you, dog. Uh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 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 man. <sighs> okay. Huh. Look from the other side. That does not mean something's still inside. I can hear chittering. <clears throat> Slider wasn't empty, it'd be a hard, handy thing to have. Lighter press fuel equals fire. Spotters things equals bad. Rocks minus. I'm just taking a guess. What the hell is that? It's locked as well. Boots. Still pain. Some I said something red. Ice white. Oh, but all the
Every bloody time I'm gonna freak out, aren't I? I need batteries, okay. 35% battery left. Where do I put the batteries at? <laughs> it was different, but the same. That time, like I had more control, but over what? Okay, I can't really see it all, so let's turn the... I'm not... Let's turn up the gamma a bit, okay. There we go, I can see it a tiny bit better. I'm happier now. I have storage paper for transporting ore, I suppose. There's a draft coming from the base. Ah! Oh no. Ah, pick up that rock. <clears throat> Ooh. Get out of here. Something like someone's removed the ladder from the looks. A pretty blunt saw. I got my hammer up. Stop whispering. Stop it. <laughs> Looks like it's a basement card in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently though. Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? Spotters. <laughs> Christ, was that a spotter? I don't like spotters. Neither do I, man. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, I got the ladder. Okay. Get the fuck away. <sighs> oh my Christ. There we go. How's the batter doing? Okay, we gotta use this, this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <sighs> what the fuck? No, if it's like, likely it's modified or else the smell would have been off. Just being sure. Just being sure. Ah, joy. Let's go this way for a bit. <clears throat> Those eggs? Is that eggs? Okay. They're just bags. Rags. No, okay. Gotta pick it up. Okay. Day one. I began this record record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value despite the chaos which has ensured in the six hours previous my aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives and to that end i have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned mine. okay whatever uh, day three i forecast that today the rescue chief crews would arrive but i can only hypothesize that they would be unaware my first Day six, the first mistake was to make assumptions no matter of mass rescue. Third mistake was to act on both these assumptions and going outside from a safe haven. Blah blah blah, blah. old living quarters for curious blah blah blah. Although, wait, although my specimen bore significant interest to me. Turn. Okay, nineteen. What what? Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the acute, accursed eight legged beasts nestling in my open mouth while I woke this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genius. So arachnid. It would be unlike that a cave dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility of trauma is all the same. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor case of celebration I've had since the incident. Lucky coincidence. Uh. For four days now, I've been surviving solely by the quiet coincidence 
part by the spiders, for some time I was starting to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. Of her lady's luck smiled on me, and most of the batteries of my torch died in a made a second. It's a creature of natural habit. Save. The creature's natural habitat in the dark, with my light not diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I will have attracted more of the beasts for my rather hearty meal. Oh, Jesus. Eh, uh, okay. Ow! Oh, It looks like eggs, butter eggs. Okay, my other assumptions on the benign nature of my cell mates may have been. Uh, the spotters are so tasty. <laughs> Day from the marks I've been making on the walls in my scribble area, which is the dark, my amount of legible scrawl. Today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and now have swelled in number and size. Whatever night. Oh god, they're getting bigger. <sighs> they're getting bigger. Okay. Uh... There we go. Okay. I heard that using a lock would be good. So... Uh, let's just drag this to number four so that I have so I can lock myself in here and die alone <clears throat> okay batteries there's nothing here fluid lighter okay so fluid I should fire up now Is that all I needed was in here? Okay. Let's get my hammer out just in case. Ow. Ah. Uh. Come on. Whoa. Damn spiders, I swear to god. Come on, let's go. Well, how horrible. Oh god. Don't... I think someone has been dragged through here. I've never seen so much blood before. No key to what? Day 200, oh my god. It's been some time since I've recorded any findings in relation to the spotters with whom I've searched my existence for the past eight months. I partly due to my forced retreatment from my basement territory, blah 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 blah, bar uh, barricaded. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation which I have forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetic. Even if I did anything, he did a surgery on himself. I still trust my pen knife to do the job, just, oh god. The procedure itself was elementary begin, though a simple amputation of a non-vital organ, I began to notice a thick glue like something swarming on my tongue, if it except that I had become infected though constant toxin ingestion. So I cut out his tongue. At least there's one little more positive. Though I've questioned the motivation. <clears throat> How long has this guy been here? There's the tongue. The largest spot I've ever seen, but it's got carved open. Yeah! Like that? <sighs> okay.
Pong. Okay, let's just go through this door. Oh, great. Lovely, just great, okay. Holes not enough for man, but not that I'd go anywhere near it. Can I, like, knock it down? Oh, I think I got a key to the storage. Okay, I think this is where we're going to end the video. It's been a half hour, I think. A little more than a half hour. I hope you enjoy the series. I'm kind of crying on the inside by playing it. I enjoy staying here. I don't mind the blood. Look at that. They got some shoes. I can eat shoes. I'll be fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want some more, just like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Draken, signing out. Boop!